Hello, and welcome to a session of Centennial College at the library. In today's session, we'll be exploring library collections that have something to say about market area facts. If you're just joining us, you can find us at library.centennialcollege.ca. Now let's get started. For all of the places we'll be going today, you can access them using your MyCentennial login credentials for distance access. And if you listen carefully and watch attentively, you can win a prize at the end of the session. Yes, at the very end, I'll feature a contest to win a prize. So let's get started. Market area facts, or in other words, picking up the global business edge. So let's go. As we move along, here are all the places we'll go. We'll open up these collections, Business Source Complete, Insights Global, Country Watch, Passport, and Statista. There are other collections of interest, of course, and within each of these, there's many places to explore. But we'll only cover some of the highlights Now, here's some examples of search interfaces. Perhaps you've seen them, but perhaps you have not seen them exactly like this. Let's read together. Is the learning online experience not as cool as you thought it would be? Or how about this? Are you stressed? Are you having a bad day? Can I get that article for you? Wouldn't it be a real joy if the collection interface spoke to you, or if it empathized with you, or if it understood where you're coming from? Of course, this is not the nature of real research. Real research looks like this. It looks like an empty void, a blank screen staring at you waiting for you, the student, to make the first move. Perhaps this is the way your professor feels sometimes. Anyways, let's carry on. Seeing as we are at the Business Source Complete interface, let's start here. We'll skip over to the library's homepage. If you haven't been here already, should bookmark the e-resources tab. This is your gateway to the library's online collections. We'll scroll down to the collection search box and we'll open up Business Source Complete. This is the part where you'll need your MyCentennial login credentials. However, as you can see, I've moved straight into the collection. This is because I've logged in not that long ago, just to check it out. This is good news for you, because once you've logged into a collection, you can skip between other collections without having to repeat the login process. So let's see what we can do in terms of discovering market area facts within this collection. First, we'll move down here to country reports. And we'll search on Canada, a familiar place perhaps. And you can see that there's a few options available. Let's try the first one. And we'll try the most current item available. We'll open up the October 2020 report. This is useful because, as you'll see, many of the items in our collections are very up to date, including up to date through the pandemic. So you'll get an accurate sense of market area facts. 
as we move through this global hotspot. You can see a 94 page report in front of us with an in-depth pestle analysis for Canada. And of course, we can use the control F function to navigate keywords throughout this document. Let's try the keyword economic. We'll enter it up here. And you can click through the different iterations of economic. And already we can easily jump to the economic landscape on page 61 and begin reading. Okay, here's one example, of course. Now let's have a look at another example. We'll move back to the main screen. And we'll try to open up another report for Canada. Going back to country reports, entering in Canada as our point of departure. And we'll try this one here. The final one, Canada Country Monitor opening up the most recent thing in 2020. And we're presented with a 65 page report. This report details the political, economic and foreign affairs landscape as of November 24th, 2020. So again, a very current and relevant piece of reading. So there's two examples of how to proceed in terms of gathering market area facts in our case for Canada. Of course, we can search for other countries at your leisure. You'll also want to take advantage of the primary search interface in this collection. We'll return to the main screen and you can search for things like Keystone, as you recall, our earlier screenshot featured an article about recent developments in the Keystone project. Let's return to it now briefly. As you saw a moment ago, here's something of interest. Pipeline permit faces repeal by Biden. So we can use the business uh, source completes interface to track down more detail on this particular development. And you can use your market area as a geographic term to isolate relevant articles. So the search is using our keyword, our descriptive word of Keystone and Canada as a geographic term. And we discover many fine things. 211 of them to be precise. You can open up things like Canada's oil heartland, Canada's oil heartland malls US compensation for the Keystone development. You can open up the complete text of this brief article and read it on screen. So that's an example of taking advantage of the primary interface to find relevant articles that deal with your particular market area. Okay, let's move on. Let's uh, change directions and open up another collection. We'll click back through. As you can see, we've explored some of the elements in Business Source Complete. Now let's have a look in Business Insights Global. We'll return to our e-resources page, the index or gateway to the library's online collections, um, wipe out business source complete and begin again with Insights Global. 
as I was saying a moment ago, once you've logged into a collection, the login process does not need to be repeated. And as I also mentioned, these collections are very robust. They have many interesting places you can explore. We'll just cover highlights. As you can see, this database has a lot to say about company information, industry information, and we'll have a look briefly at their country selection, again using our um, first example of Canada. In this collection, we'll draw in, we're drawn to information features on Canada as they appear in academic journals, case studies, magazines, news items, and trade journals. We'll have a look in magazines. This um, feature is now loaded up over 66,000 articles having to do with our market area of Canada. And again, we can um, do our keyword or descriptive word searching within this subset of 66,842 records. We'll search. You can also arrange your results by date. So this changes the presentation so that the most recent items appear first. For example, we can learn something from a publication called the National Review, a brief article highlighting this tidbit of information. The Biden administration plans to kick things off with a boneheaded act of economic self-sabotage on day one by unilaterally canceling the Keystone XL pipeline which would have fed Canadian oil to Gulf Coast refineries. As you can see, the National Review is um, taking the gloves off, so to speak. And you can, of course, click on the link, open up the brief article, and away you go. Now let's return and have a look at another feature within Insights Global. We'll go to the home screen and we'll open up these comparison charts. Here you can compare industries, companies, and countries, of course. We'll stick with our Canadian example, first of all, and we'll add in Canada. Let's add in a few more countries. How about Myanmar? And we can follow this with places such as Nigeria. And even Malawi. And with these four countries, you can see the incredible contrast, in this case, using the metric of GDP. The program allows you to switch between different metrics. Let's have a look at average life expectancy. And again, you can see quite a range of um, difference in terms of life expectancy between these four countries. 
So that's a quick look at these comparison charts using different countries, using the metric of average life expectancy, and earlier the metric of GDP. And of course, you can incorporate these charts within your own research. So those are two features within Insights Global that you might want to use as you explore market area facts. Now let's move on to another collection. We'll return to our e-resources screen and we'll open a collection called Country Watch. Once again, there are many features within this particular collection. We'll start by investigating the intelligence zone and country reviews. You can easily select a country, such as India, from the drop down menu. And for each country in this particular database, you are presented with a political, looking on the left-hand side, economic, investment, social, and environmental overview with all different tabs that open up into screens of more information. And just quickly, economic conditions and we'll see momentarily that the information in, in this collection and our other collections is reasonably up to date, updated in 2020. Also within the pages of Country Watch, again, opening up Intelligence Zone, you can get a current news feed under the heading of Country Wire. It works simply by choosing a country. And let's change countries and choose Myanmar. I think it's listed as Burma in this collection. Oh, Burma, Myanmar. And you can filter the particular archive. Let's have a look at January 2021. And you see an up-to-date current news feed of things such as UN voices alarm about Myanmar after military threats and coup fears. You get full text, full image, news feed. And finally, another feature within this collection appears under the education heading, and we can open up the feature called country data. In the country data platform, you can select different metrics. We'll select, for example, the real GDP growth rate as something we would like to compare and we'll select our countries of comparison. In this case, we'll select India and Canada. So taking these two countries and comparing the real GDP growth rate, we'll select the current six years. To produce a chart. Again, you can take this information and use it within your own assignments. Uh, so far, these are some of the ways we can exploit or take advantage of uh, these three databases for investigating market area facts. So far, we've had a look in Country Watch, Business Source Complete and Insights Global. 
we're going to move on in our talk to have a look in something called Passport. It says Euro Monitor's academic collection. And we'll see what it has to offer in terms of market area facts. Again, returning to the library's index page or e-resources, we can open up Passport seamlessly without having to log in again. And within this robust collection, we'll have a look at one or two features and move on. Here we'll open up the consumer heading and see what it has to say under population. On your own time, you can look in lifestyles, income and expenditures, households, and the digital consumer. But for now, we'll consider population. Scrolling down to country reports, we'll open the population report for a geographic for a geography, our market area, in this case, again, we'll use the example of Canada. Scrolling through South American countries, the Middle East, to North America and Canada. And as you'll see, these reports take into consideration that pandemic and they've updated to um, in this case only March 2020 but uh, other reports cover the pandemic conditions in more detail. We can transfer this to a PDF fairly easily. And away we go. I'll allow you to explore this on your own. One more thing within this particular resource, you can also have a look at more related items. We'll have a look at one in particular. Scrolling down, you can have a look at the country profile for Canada. As you note, um, it's loading up and we see this report was completed at the end or towards the end of December of this past year. So it does in fact take into account the pandemic conditions. And once again, there is an option for downloading it as a PDF. We can carry on to our final database for this session. We'll have a look in Statista and then we'll wrap up afterwards. Once again, Statista. And we will load up information on Canada again. We'll have a look in the Canada 2020 Statista Country Report. This is a wealth of information, all 93 pages that we will now download. As we have done previously, we'll use the Control F feature to see what's going on with the economy. We can click through all 22 occurrences and see where it takes us. In this instance, we are now at the beginning of the chapter on the economy. Okay. Um, just to summarize, we've 
so far looked in a few different places. We've had a look in Statista, in Euromonitor's Passport, in CountryWatch, as well as Business Source Complete and Insights Global to explore resources that will help us talk about and learn about market area facts. Now let's return to my presentation. As you saw, we've just covered off Statista. Now we're approaching the end of the session. So as I mentioned earlier, we can uh, begin to uh, play to win big. You can be the library contestant. And of course, there is a fascinating prize. The prize is, of course, an I love the libraries button that if you answer a skill testing question that will appear on the next screen, you can send me an email at rsims at centennialcollege.ca and I will put that button in the mail for you, depending on if you answer the question correctly. Here is your question, your skill testing question for today's session. From the comparison graphs we created in Business Insights Global, remember those? Name one of the two variables we used. Answer or the other answer. Once again, email me at rsims at centennialcollege.ca with your correct answer and I will send you a button in the mail. Of course, you must include your mailing address and your button will be on the road to you shortly. Now, before we leave today, um, in case you slipped over or might have forgotten one of the resources we've opened up, I have this Business Analysis Information Sources Guide that I'll quickly zip to that acts as a refresher for you in case um, you want to go back quickly and see where we went today. This guide is accessible from the library's homepage. Scrolling down to Library Guides, we'll take advantage of the alphabetical list. Scrolling down to, where is it? Here we go, let's see. Business. Business Analysis Information Sources. And using the table of contents, this guide takes you through information sources for market area facts, industry analysis, company data, and demographic information. Now that is all for today. Um, although we've had just a quick look at places to go for looking for information on market area facts, I encourage you to explore further, have a look in some other collections, explore in more detail the collections we've been to. And if you have questions research related, library research related, please get in touch. I'm at rsims at centennialcollege.ca. Thank you for listening. Best of luck and have a wonderful day.